Ever wondered where those beautiful colors in the sky come from after the rain? Well, let's embark on a journey to understand this colorful miracle of nature, the rainbow. Rainbows are a natural phenomenon that occur when sunlight and rain combine in a very specific way. When a beam of sunlight comes into a raindrop, the light is refracted or bent and then it's reflected off the inside surface of the droplet. When the light exits the droplet, it's refracted again. The magic begins when the sunlight enters the raindrop. You see, light is composed of different colors, each having a different wavelength. When white sunlight enters a raindrop, it's split into its component colors, a process known as dispersion. This is because each color of light has a slightly different angle of refraction resulting in a spread of colors. The colors of a rainbow starting from the outer edge are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These are the colors visible to the human eye. But remember, there's a whole spectrum of light that we can't see. Each raindrop contributes just a tiny fraction of the rainbow's brilliance. It's the collective work of countless raindrops that makes the colors of the rainbow intense and vivid. The more droplets there are in the atmosphere, the more intense the colors become. One interesting fact about rainbows is that they're personal. Your rainbow is different from someone else's. This is because the appearance of a rainbow depends on the angle at which you're viewing it, and that's unique to your position. So, the next time you see a rainbow, remember it's just sunlight playing with raindrops? And it's not just a charming spectacle, it's a demonstration of the fundamental principles of light. This colorful miracle reminds us of the delightful interplay between sunlight, water droplets, and our perception, making our world a bit more magical. What about the mighty flashes of light that light up the sky during a storm? You've seen them, you've heard their deafening roar. But have you ever wondered what truly makes a thunderbolt? Thunderbolts, also known as lightning, are powerful electrical discharges that take place between clouds and the Earth. They're quite the spectacle, aren't they? But there's a lot more to them than just their electrifying beauty. So, let's break it down. Our atmosphere is a bit of an electric playground. As the wind moves and the Earth heats up, electrical charges begin to accumulate in the atmosphere. These charges separate, with positive charges moving upwards and negative charges sinking downwards. This separation of charges creates an electric field within the cloud. The Earth, in its natural state, is negatively charged. However, the lower part of the storm cloud induces a positive charge on the Earth's surface below. This causes a potential difference between the cloud and the Earth. When this potential difference becomes too large, a breakdown occurs. This breakdown is what we see as a bolt of lightning. As the charges connect, a path is created for the electricity to move. This is the flash of light we see streaking across the sky. But what about the thunder? Well, as the lightning bolt travels through the air, it heats the air around it to incredible temperatures, causing the air to expand rapidly. This sudden expansion creates a shock wave that we hear as thunder. So, while they may startle us from time to time, thunderbolts are just nature's way of keeping things balanced. They're a natural and necessary part of our world's weather system. So, thunderbolts and thunder are just nature's way of balancing electrical charges. It's amazing, isn't it? The sheer power of nature, constantly at work, shaping our world in ways we often take for granted. Have you ever seen or heard about the mesmerizing lights that dance in the night sky, mainly in the polar regions? Now imagine a ballet of colors, a symphony of lights, a spectacle so divine that it seems as if the heavens themselves are putting on a show. This is the magic of the aurora, or as it's more commonly known, the aurora borealis. The aurora borealis or northern lights is a celestial phenomenon that has left humans in awe for centuries. It occurs primarily near the Arctic and Antarctic regions, painting the night sky with an ethereal glow. But have you ever wondered what causes these dancing lights of the night? Well, the magic begins with our sun. The sun, in all its fiery glory, constantly emits charged particles into space. These particles, also known as solar wind, travel across the vast expanse of space until they reach Earth. Our planet, with its magnetic field, acts like a giant magnet attracting these particles towards the magnetic poles. As these charged particles descend into the Earth's atmosphere, they encounter various atoms and molecules. Oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements present in our atmosphere collide with these particles. This collision imparts energy to the atoms and molecules, causing them to become excited. And when these excited atoms and molecules return to their normal state, they emit energy in the form of light. This light is what we see as the beautiful, shimmering curtains of the aurora. 
The different colors of the aurora are determined by the type of atom or molecule that the solar particles collide with. Oxygen generally gives off green and red light, while nitrogen can produce blue or purple light. So, the next time you see images of the sky painted with brilliant hues of green, blue, purple, and red, remember it's not just a beautiful light display, it's a cosmic dance, a ballet of particles and light, a testament to the incredible natural phenomena that occur in our universe. So, the aurora is just a spectacular light show, resulting from solar particles meeting our atmosphere. Ever wondered why the sun or the moon suddenly disappears during the day or night? This is not a trick of the eye or a figment of your imagination, but a celestial event that has captivated humanity for centuries, an eclipse. An eclipse, by definition, is the obscuring of one celestial body by another. This happens when the sun, moon, and earth align in a straight or almost straight configuration. Let's delve a little deeper into the two main types of eclipses, solar and lunar. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on our planet and temporarily blocking our view of the sun. However, don't expect to see this phenomenon every new moon, as the moon's orbit is tilted relative to Earth's orbit around the sun. This means that the alignment required for a solar eclipse only happens around two to five times a year. During a total solar eclipse, day turns into night, temperatures drop and stars can be seen in the sky. It's a spectacle that has fascinated and frightened humans for millennia. On the other hand, a lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth passes between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon. This event can only happen during a full moon and is more common than a solar eclipse. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon doesn't disappear but turns a haunting shade of red, often referred to as a blood moon. This eerie glow is the result of sunlight passing through Earth's atmosphere, scattering short wavelength light such as blue and green, while longer wavelength light such as red and orange reaches and illuminates the moon. Eclipses have been significant in many cultures, often seen as powerful omens. They've steered the course of history, influenced art and literature, and helped us understand our place in the cosmos. As we journey further into the mysteries of our universe, let's keep our eyes on the skies, for they hold endless wonders and stories yet to be discovered. Natural phenomena are not only beautiful spectacles, but also fascinating examples of nature's forces at work. We've journeyed together through the vibrant hues of the rainbow, the electrifying power of thunderbolts, and the hypnotic dance of the aurora. Each of these phenomena, in their own unique way, reveals the intricate dynamics of our natural world. The rainbow, a colorful miracle of nature, is born out of the interplay between sunlight and raindrops. The science behind this spectacle is refractive in nature. Each droplet of rain acts as a prism, bending and dispersing the sun's white light into an array of colors visible to the human eye. The more droplets there are, the more vibrant the rainbow becomes. Our exploration then took us to the thunderbolts, those sudden powerful discharges of electricity between the earth and the clouds. Thunderbolts result from the buildup of electric charges in the atmosphere. When the potential difference between the clouds and the earth becomes too great, a lightning bolt is born, accompanied by thunder, a sound wave created by the rapid expansion of heated air. Finally, we traverse to the polar regions to witness the aurora, the dancing lights of the night. The aurora, also known as the northern lights, is a luminous display visible in the night sky. It is formed when charged particles from the sun collide with the Earth's atmosphere. These particles are drawn to the Earth's magnetic poles, where they excite atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, causing them to emit light. In understanding these natural phenomena, we not only gain insight into the fundamental processes that shape our world, but we also learn to appreciate its power and beauty. Each rainbow, each thunderbolt, each aurora is a testament to the awe-inspiring forces of nature. So, keep exploring, keep observing, and keep marveling at the wonders of nature.